Welcome, to, folks, to a new Let's Play, Alan Wake. Now, I have not played this game yet. I've only tried out the tutorial to famili familiarize myself a little bit with the controls and whatnot. So, other than that, this will be a completely blind run. Let's begin. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Right, folks, so we are now in the. No. We are now in the tutorial section of this game. We can uh, run around a little bit, look the, over the shoulder of the guy, we can change the position of the camera, I guess. We can sprint, although he runs out of uh, stamina. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Right. Let's try to get there, I suppose. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Hmm. Now, when I first played this tutorial, there was like a little can of coffee here. I think it's like a collectible. Never mind. Guess it's already collected. Alright, this is a very dreary and dark place. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. That's where we want to go. Lighting effects are pretty good. Oh, look at that. It's the hiker. The hitchhiker. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think oh you can just make up stuff? Play with people's it. lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now! And oh. I'll make you suffer! single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories because I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good <laughs> for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Oh, will you? Seems that this creation of ours is kind of pissed. Get out of here. <gasps> Need to get to that lighthouse. The person is missing. He looks kind of similar to our character. Pretty... pretty damn similar. Not sure. Hey, there's a 
thingy. Um, I don't have a scanning device that's necessary, but uh, feel free to let me know what that thing says. A little barcode there. Right. We just learn our basic controls here. That's all done in a very cinematic and dark way, which I like. You missed your deadline! Oh boy. We don't have any weapons yet, so we gotta dodge this guy. Come on, do it. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Right. Let's keep moving. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Pretty messed up, you know that? Let's run the hell out of here. Alright. That dark wind does not seem good for our health, to say the least. And now I'm out of stamina, so I gotta walk, well, I guess jog the rest of the way. Can't run anymore. There we go. No, the light. Get away from here, quickly. There's a dude. Help me. Come on, help me, dude. Just in time. It's weak as me. Play steward, remember? No. Quickly get inside. There's no time to lose. Thanks, dude. I have no idea who you are, but uh, thank you for helping me. Oh boy. Oh no. Door's locked. Huh? Stop. Shoot him. No! No! <laughs> That's awful. I was trapped. There was no way out. The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. But how? Where? Will do. That's the first nice, nice thing I've seen so far. Let's get out of here. God, I'm stuck. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Thanks. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Thanks. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. Who or what are you? The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. He seems passive now. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. We can simply shine it at him, which takes a ton of time. Or we can boost the light. Which uh, makes it go away quicker. But also costs energy. 
You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Oh boy. You're still alive. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. But where did you In come from? A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Right, so now we know the basic mechanic of fighting enemies, I think. We have to strip away. We have to strip away the darkness. Oh, he fell down. We have to strip away the darkness and then shoot them. Where is he? Oh god, he's coming this way. I think we got him. Right, let's keep moving. I'm a bit worried here. This is it. Oh god, let's run. I think he, he vanished, yeah. I think we're fine. You're dead. Just like me. Why is there three of them? That's insane. We can still use the flashlight to also blind them, which gives us a little bit more more time to shoot them and react to them. Still, this is pretty scary stuff, folks. Pretty scary. Right, we're almost there. Oh, you die. There we go. Ha, <laughs> he fell down. I think he exploded down there. That looks like it. Pretty, pretty deep down there. We're in the light? Oh no. I keep this up. Here he comes again. We gotta get out of here. And fast. Okay. Right. Since we're gonna try and avoid this stuff. We hope that we're fast enough. Oof. It's pretty slow, so we are we're, we're fine in that regard at least. To get to the light quickly. And this side. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. She looks a little derpy. But nice. Let's 
act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> All right. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Can I talk to you? It doesn't look like it. I guess we'll just go over here then. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat Maid, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Guess Ellen's a bit famous, at least. Hmm. Can't seem to talk to him. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. <laughs> yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Damn. Yeah. Yuppies. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. We'll see that Great. I want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. What's wrong with that guy over you there? No, he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? What's your problem? From Barry. He says hi to you too. Dude, what's your problem? Oh, never mind. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Okay. Let's get in. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Huh. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake up. <gasps> I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. What the... I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Great. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. <laughs> yep, this was basically uh, as far as I got. So. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty mm -hmm. here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. <laughs> yeah, that makes two of us. I'll make it three. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. <laughs> hmm. Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Oh, boy. All right, then. <laughs> and she's attractive, but uh, I think that's not what he's looking for right now. Fangirl. Hm. All right, let us keep looking. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. 
coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! <laughs> Maybe you should not wear those boots. Maybe they are the problem. You put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because <laughs> we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. <laughs> Let's start it. Yes! That's my favorite tune! Coconut! Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. <laughs> if I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. Oh, it doesn't seem to be playing. Sorry, old man. Tune number six in the jukebox! i try it. Children of the Elder God! Now there's a song for you. Mm, let's see it this. does that! Get stuck! Yeah! You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> this is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> really hardcore. It's always the same thing. Put the lime in the coconut, okay. Well, let's see what else we can do here. What's up? What's wrong with you? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. So... I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. He Over eager fan is always dead. <laughs> He doesn't give her that. He doesn't listen to the woman. She's actually carrying a lantern. What the hell? All right. Well, it is a bit dark here. Sure. Let's right, do the ladies' room. Uh, what do we have here? Is this the exit? I guess so. I can't even go in here. All right. Men's room. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. Someone die? I insist. Thanks. She looks odd. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Were you just at a funeral or something? It's uh, a bit disconcerting. Especially when you sneak up on people, that's not nice. I am so happy this could be arranged. Yeah, sure. Well, let's keep moving. I can't even sprint right now. Even you got lucky to. this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. It's not. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Man, she's afraid of the dark. It's not that dark back there. Just a bit dim. And it's still going. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? Splendid, <laughs> splendid! Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift it. It's heavier than a spoon. Yep, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey. I wish. Why is he calling me Tom? I can't interact with it. I would like to change the music again. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Wandered off? Are they like psychiatric patients or something? 
Well, bye, Rose. Bye -bye. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. Oh, it's her. Uh, all right. Bye. I gotta leave. Bye, Mr. Wake. <sighs> Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. That'll come in handy. Hey, what's that? Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh, boy. We're going to the wrong house now. That diner we? was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks are Want to look up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you? Nah, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. It's a beautiful house, but uh, it's the wrong one. Poor Stucky. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't I worry, honey. I'll... I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Well, it seems not to be much time left. Is she just gonna follow me, or do I have to, like... Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. It's too good to be true, frankly. Poor old Stucky. I think he could have helped us. Maybe prevent some of the things that are bound to happen here. Oh. More birds. Okay. Should I carry something for you or something? We don't seem to have much luggage, do we? I guess I I might go back out later on and carry it in or something. Why do I have to escort her? This is a bit weird. Could have least I don't know brought one of the duffel bags or whatever we have. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Okay. Uh, okay, yes. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure oh, thing. Boy. I'm on it. Seems her fear is a bit stronger than I thought it would be. If this kind of slightly dim light is already enough to freak her out. Hello? Anyone here? Where did that come from? It came from up there, didn't it? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Kept from sleep? The labyrinth of me? In her... To... In her dreams to prevail? Okay, sounds interesting. Maybe somebody came in through this door. Nice kitchen. Not a, yeah, that this is the kind of coffee thermos I was talking about. Apparently there are 100 in this entire game. I'm sure we'll miss a plenty of them since I never played this game before, but I'll I'll be sure to pick up as many as I can as we go along. Let's check up here now. 
Where did I put the... For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <sighs> Damn. That was not the dream from the ferry, that was the... I needed to get prone. the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Hmm. Big Daddy, hi. Well, yeah, I, I'm kind of just checking around. I, the I'm... cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. It is in good shape, though. Very rustic, but clean. Looks nice. Now, where is that generator? Maybe down here? In the cellar, maybe? Or maybe this doesn't even have a cellar. Guess we might as well check out here. Well, that looks like a generator house. Uh, but I went the wrong way, didn't I? What's this thing? The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. But we'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones, caller. You're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. Oh no. I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Oh god damn it. Well, Rose, I I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. Oh damn it. I'm sure he's glad to be here too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main, I'm KBFFM. And now some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Uh, Pat Main tried, but uh I guess Rose is just the too. Goes to that happy. Shed over there. Yeah, thanks. I figured that. It was just a bit slow before because I thought I'd have to. Oh, what's in here? Because I thought it would be in the basement or somewhere else in the house. Right, let's go in, I guess. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Ooh, this looks a bit rickety. What am I doing now? Ah, oh, I get it. Alright. Guess we don't have to fill it up. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay! Ooh, I'll look this? around a bit. Sure thing! The island had once been the site for a love story. Ah. Uh. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. And right, um, I am gonna pause the video here and we'll continue at this spot in the next episode. So, see you then folks, bye.